What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have an episode of My Damn Hauls and that is episode number 43. <laughs> So in this episode of My Damn Hauls, guys, we have four packages right here, and they're from all over the place. We have one from Amazon, one from a trade on Facebook, one from eBay, and then one from my good old friend Unstable1047 here on YouTube. Christian, thank you so much, bro, for this amazing package. Cannot wait to get into that. But uh, again, we have four packages on this episode today, guys, so what we can do is go ahead and get started. All four packages are related in some way, and uh, I guess you guys will find out what we got. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so this first package does come from eBay, but you know what? We can't get into our packages without the trusty knife. Yeah! So let's go ahead and dive right in. So we'll just give it a little slice across the top, trying not to slice off my finger. Uh, that should do it. You know what? That, that, that should be good enough. So we're just going to tear this right here. And uh, I've literally owned this figure a hundred million times. I think this figure has been featured on this channel a hundred million times. And um, yep, you guys can already tell what this is. And it is the TNF Seth freaking Rollins. So we have the figure, guys. And I know, I'm sure you've seen this thing a hundred million times, as I've said. I have literally owned, I think this is like my seventh or eighth one. Um, that I own, that you know, I've turned them into customs, I use them for parts and all that good stuff, so this is a really good figure to use, they're also really cheap right now, I think I got this on eBay for 10 bucks, and so, a Seth Rollins figure going for $10, you might as well grab some, they're on Amazon for like 16 or so shipped, so definitely get on in on that guys, but this is the first figure we have is the TNF Seth Rollins. So our next package guys is from a trade on Facebook. You know, this guy hit me up and said that he had the figure that I was looking for. So, uh, yeah, that's what we have in here. I don't even know if I can use the trusty knife to cut this thing open, but we will see. It may just have some little flappage right here that I can get down in. Oh, my. Oh, yeah! Sorry about that, guys. But, uh, yeah, we're going to cut this thing right or just pull it straight open. So, I finally have the blasted thing open, guys, so we can just pull all this stuff straight out. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Got some accessories in there. So that, that about does it for that. But here we have the figure unraveling it. You will see it is the Elite 37 Seth Rollins. So if we take the Elite 37 out of the freaking baggie there, guys, you will see this figure is freaking epic sauce. If you don't own this Seth Rollins, I definitely recommend you picking one up. This is probably one of his more rare Elites. I'd say this one in the Toys R Us exclusive cash-in Seth from WrestleMania 31. This figure has a ridiculously fantastic head scan. One of my favorite head scans Mattel's ever done and a lot of people says it, say that it doesn't look like Seth Rollins but I'm gonna pull up a picture right here you could see that just look at that it literally does capture um that if you look right in here just like Seth and I, I like it a lot so um I believe this is the third Elite 37 that I have owned but uh, I plan on turning this one into a custom. I have a few Elite 37s that I'm trying to get so that I can, you know, make some different attires from his 2014 look post-Shield, you know, before he went on his big heel run. And I have a custom that I want to show you guys later in this video. He also did throw in his Money in the Bank briefcase and his cinder blocks. I'm trying to chase down some of those Chase Money in the Bank briefcases because these are way too big, guys. Like... Uh, for the time, you know, we thought that this was good, but uh, now that they've released those new ones, I want to track down a lot of those and pose my figures with them because this is just way too big. Maybe I can use this in the pig fed or something, and we'll figure out a way to use this money in the bank. But let's move on to the next package. This next package does come from a good friend, Unstable1047, here on YouTube. Guys, you definitely need to go check out his channel. I will leave a link in the description below. Christian Hoffman from Unstable. Definitely go check his channel out. Very nice guy. And uh, he actually was featured on an episode of My Damn Halls, I think, a few episodes episodes ago he sent us over some Seth Rollins so he hit me up and he was like bro I have even more Seth Rollins to send you so that's what we got here in this package guys we got some more Seth Rollins from Christian Hoffman so definitely go check out his channel guys again very nice dude he posts some cool WWE figure and WWE content so definitely go check that out but we're slicing this hoe open and we can see what figures we got in here he said he did throw in some extra goodies guys and I do see that we do have some extra goodies here so the first goodie we got right here is a money in the bank briefcase this thing looks great you know this is our second one here on this haul so that is freaking beautiful we have 
two steel chairs right here. We have one of these uh, WWE ones, and these are very nice. I like these padded ones a lot better. They just feel a lot more stable, you know what I'm saying, and they don't feel cheap. So that is beautiful. And then we have this like ringside collectibles exclusive chairs, what this looks like in the silver color. I have one of these as well, so this will look great up next to that one. We have the Elite 52 Seth freaking Rollins, and this is his SummerSlam 2016 and his uh, Greatest Royal Rumble look. So uh, he's looking great got the wwe championship on there um again i own a ton of these uh, elite 52s but uh unstable is so nice christian to send us over another one so that we can you know continue to make some custom rollins and get all the shelf looking nice so we got that figure and then we have this amazing basic seth rollins which i was trying to track down for the head scan and the knee pad this these knee pads are accurate the cash in so i want to uh, switch these knee pads onto the toys r us exclusive and fix that figure up and we have a dull WWE Championship. And I actually think this is the only one I ever owned of this. The Chase WWE Championship. So thank you so much, Christian. Again, guys, go check out his channel. And uh, we're going to make some great use out of these Rollins that he sent over here today. So ladies and gentlemen, our last package does come from Amazon. I had a $50 gift card from Amazon uh, for my birthday that my grandmother gave me. So I'm very excited to uh, crack open this and show you guys what we got. It was a very big blessing that we actually found these figures on there. You guys will see what we got from Amazon for a really good price. Uh, it only cost me $50 for both of these figures. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this open and show you guys. Give it a little cutsy right down the middle, and we're gonna pop this thing straight. Oh, I guess you got you got to get the side flaps as well, guys. Don't forget about your side flappage. Got to cut that stuff off. So we cut that. We spin this around. We're gonna have to give it another cut on this side, and we open up the box. And my goodness, I don't know if you guys can tell what it is. We're gonna lift up the little flap right here so you guys cannot see. We got one out of the packaging. We got the other one out of the packaging. All right, guys, are you ready to see what we got? Three, two, one. We got two Elite 37 Seth freaking Rollins in here. So we're just we're just racking in the Rollins figures here on today's episode of My Damn Halls. Guys, we got two Elite 37s to go along with our third that we got in our trade. So we are literally just so amazing, guys. We have so many sets right here. Uh, I'm not even going to unbox them right now because we already took a look at this one right here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and line up the entire haul that we got here today. All right, guys, well, here we have the entire haul all lined up. Freaking it, burning it down here on my damn halls, guys. My goodness. Three Elite 37s, one Elite TNF, one Elite 52, a basic, I don't even know the series. We got plenty of accessories to go around. Again, a huge shout out to Christian from Unstable1047, guys. Go check out his channel again for the Elite 52, the basic, and the accessories we got here today. Uh, before we go, I want to uh, show you this custom set that I made yesterday. I posted it on my Instagram, but I don't think I've showed you guys here on YouTube. Here we go, guys. It is this 2015 post. WrestleMania Elite Seth Rollins. We did a lot of good things to this thing. I switched a lot of parts around. Uh, as you guys know, this is the Toys R Us exclusive cash-in Seth. I went in, I switched the knee pads, you know, to give him the accurate knee pads because uh, he doesn't wear the uh, ones they gave him. He wears the open knee pads. So this is from one of those basics that Christian sent us. I went down here to the kick pads. I added the gold trim that he uh, wore post-WrestleMania. You know, at WrestleMania, he had the full black kick pads. But I came in here, added the gold in there. If you can zoom in right here, guys, you will see that we did add the gray to the side of the tights right here because uh, this is how Seth was wearing it. I don't know if you can tell, but I, I put some dark gray over this and matte sealed it to give it the accurate look. If I can, I'll bring up a picture there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can tell in real life here. I also switched out the arms with an Elite 52 Seth. I like these arms better than the uh, skinny ones that they give him on the uh, older Elites. I took an Elite 52 Seth Rollins vest and I painted it up, you know, to the one that he used to wear back then. And I switched out the hands and put Rey Mysterio hands because, you know, the gloves are actually molded and they're not just painted hands. So I think that gives it a lot more accurate feel. It looks a lot better. And then, of course, added the wristbands in there. And the last thing that we did here was sealed everything up with the Matte Mod Podge. And I, I really like it, guys. I really am happy with the way this thing turned out. So I guess you can say we are definitely freaking feeling it here on my damn halls with the burning it down guys thank you so much for watching this episode guys subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe and wwe figure related videos leave a like if you enjoyed comment down below your favorite seth rollins from this haul today as well as your thoughts on this beautiful 2015 seth rollins custom follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you